on YouTube, welcome to another video, another what's it like to drive on track video, eh? I'm in a car which quite a lot of you have been wanting me to drive for ages, I used to own one of these, believe it or not. What car is that? Well you've probably read the title and already figured out that we're in an EP3. But this is quite a special EP3 because it's been built, in theory, to race, it's full race spec EP3. What's it like to drive, eh? You excited? I think you are excited. So yeah, I've done another one of these videos, you might have seen it before, on Joe's uh, Civic EG. Now obviously this is the car where the Civic EG's heart, the K20, this is where it came from. This is the famous OG Civic with the K20, built in England for these things as well. Did you know? Probably a lot of you did know. But yeah, we're on a, on a track day today at Cadwell Park, and I've been chat speaking to uh, the owner of this car, and he said, oh, I've seen your videos, quite like them. I said, oh well, if you like my videos, sir, then maybe you could be in one. So, here we are. We're going to find out what it's like to drive a Civic EP3, a track spec, race spec. We can't call it track spec because it's a race spec. What's it like to drive on track? Well, I don't know. Let's find out, eh? Um, I'll give you a quick spec of the car. It's a it's K20. It's not running any major power. It's not. It's not. You know. It's not full, full. You know, full shebang or anything. It's it's race regulations. So we've got a full, very snazzy, hard to get into roll cage, we've got the, the six point harnesses, we've got the fire extinguisher, should be right at home in here, right? Yeah? Look at the back, gutted, very, very clean. So yeah, I've showed you some exterior shots of the car, we've spoken about it, it's an EP3, let's go out on track and see what it's like. What do you think? Do you think I'll enjoy it? I've never actually driven an EP3 on track before, like I say, I used to have one as a road car, a lot of fun, but what's it like to drive on track? Hmm? And if you want to know the full spec of the car, it will be in the description, so you can read that if you want. If you want to know every little bit about it, but have a look. You can you can see what's going on here, right? Very serious track spec, EP race spec. Sorry, very serious race spec EP3. Let's go out for a drive and see how it goes around Cadwell Park. What you like as a passenger?
Right, so we're back. We've driven the EP3. You might have noticed that the owner, Joe, was sat next to us when we went out. Um, how was it to drive? Well, unfortunately, as you saw, the session got cut short, which, you know, bastards. And it's actually right at the end of the day, and the red flag took a little bit of time to clean up, and they ended up just calling the session off. So we didn't get to go back out and get a proper feel for it, really. I was just starting to get into a bit of a flow with the car. I was just starting to, to learn about it and, you know, figure out what I needed to do to, to get it round. And I'll let you know the first impressions, because that's pretty much all I got to get. My first impressions were this. There's not a lot going on here. There's not a lot of feel when it's in the centre and when you're turning in, you really have to turn. So we've been driving the Civic EG as well today, so I've got a bit of a comparison from that. And yeah, it doesn't feel like there's a lot going on in the steering. And these are electric steering racks on these, don't forget. So maybe it's something to do with that. But yeah, it's really strange feeling through the wheel. But say you just drive around these things, don't you? So you get on with it. Um, the shifter as well, a bit, a bit unique up here, isn't it? It was touring car spec on the on the EP freeze from the factory. Now this one's definitely a bit, <laughs> yeah, it's got a bit of that going on. But you know, we didn't miss a gear compared to the um, Magpie shifter in Joe's car. We banged it in every gear, no problem. So you know, can't complain with that. How did it drive? Well. The brakes felt good. We've got those DC5 Brembo's with, um, I think he said Ferodo DS, one of the Ferodo nice pads. Brakes felt good, yeah. The car definitely felt heavy, but I mean, it's not a heavy car. That's just because I've been driving around a Civic EG for most of the day that weighs about 300 kilos less. So, you know, it's going to feel heavy compared to that, innit? Driving position, it felt a bit strange when I got in the car, but once we got out on track, it felt alright. Didn't feel too bad. I don't know what the camera angle is going to be like because obviously, you know, it's a bit of a rush job right at the end of the day, so I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see what I was doing. But yeah, we were just starting to get into a flow and then and then things got cut a little bit short, so that was a shame. So, how did it feel? Yeah, it felt pretty good to be honest. Um, like I say, I used to own one of these, never drove it on track, but definitely a lot of fun. I remember when I got my road car, it reminded me a lot of my Saxo VTS, which, you know, just something to blast about in. And for a car just to blast about in, in comfort as well, like compared to the Civic, uh, the Civic EG, sorry, obviously this is two generations on from that, you're a bit taller and you're a bit fatter, but it's definitely comfortable, that's for sure. I didn't feel as hot either, I don't know why that was. Maybe it's just because the sun's not out, eh? That could be it, right? That could be it. So yeah, it's a shame that the session got caught a little bit short. Hopefully the video has still been nice to watch. It's been fun to drive. Thanks again to Joe for letting me have a go in his EP3 race car. We'll say it right this time. Yeah, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you're subscribed. We're doing some more of these hopefully soon. What's it like to drive on track? A race spec EP3? Well, it was never going to be bad. I've seen these things racing. There's a guy called camp i can't remember alistair camp maybe and there's, there's him and another lad were having a really good scrap at brands hatch i might have actually videoed it you might have seen it already and uh, they look really good out there they look a lot of fun and there is a type r trophy as well which i was considering doing instead of the mr2 championship but i ended up going down the mr2 route do i have any regrets well this definitely feels faster than an mr2 but Yeah, this definitely feels a lot faster than the MR2, but I think the MR2 is just a bit more involving to drive, so, you know, I'll, I'll take that. But yeah, it's been good to drive, so thanks again to Joe for letting me have a go. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. I'm not sure what we'll be doing next. It could be anything. We've put the full spec of the car in the description as well, so you can check it out if you want to read that. But yeah, that was it. Just a quick session in EP3, all good. Strangest thing was that, but, you know. We're on square tyres as well, I didn't, I didn't tell you that yet, did I? We've got 225 square tyres, so I reckon a bit more meat on the front would work well on this as well. Maybe a 245 or something, because we did get a bit of understeer, but not too much, just a bit. Quite a lot of people around the car now, so I'm going to stop the video. I'm starting to get embarrassed. <laughs>